We're coming off a great season. A couple injuries that uh, kind of led us into the NCAAs, but uh, you know the way we ended with the NE10, we were very, very motivated. And you could see that motivation carry over in the in the fall, and you know coming into the spring right out of that. So uh, I thought our fall was quite successful, and now we're actually looking forward to get started now. We've been practicing a lot. Uh, we've played three D1 schools, so. We got prepared pretty well with those matches and now ready to start preseason in Hawaii and excited for the season. We're conference champs and we're gonna keep it up. We started up last semester a little bit shy on the court. Everyone a little bit didn't know very well what we were doing still, getting to know the new players too. But uh, I think the ITA was a good tournament for us. We came all together. Our personal level was good, our team level was good too. And uh, I think we're trying to make history or continue to make history like we did last year. I love what happened last year. They were young. We have everybody back. Um, I think we're just a little bit stronger than we were last year. On the other hand, so was the league. So was the conference. Um, we went to the ITAs in the fall. We saw who picked up other players and stuff like that. And we realized that uh, the NE10 has gotten stronger. And I think that's fabulous for our conference. And I really, you know, yeah, I like what the other coaches are doing. But we have to be prepared for every single match. Nobody can let their guard down. Because if one person is off, that could be a 5-4 loss to us. And, and we know that. So we don't take any team lightly. And it's my job to make sure that we are prepared for every match going into the NE10 because it's not going to be a rollover. And we know the motivation is going to be against us. So we have to make sure that we're motivated for every match. We know our opponents. We know what we're going to do. Uh, obviously, the goal is to win the, the conference and then really go to the nationals afterwards. So that's that's the goal and more precise on what we want to do and what we want to achieve this year. Last year, we had our goal in mind and we were very positive and confident about it. And this year, I think it's more the same. So we need to keep uh, our confidence high, keep our work ethics good and, uh, and go higher. So this year, the nationals is our ultimate goal. And that's worth thriving every day and working hard every day to achieve. We start with Boston College, Boston University, UConn. Um, I make sure our guys, you know, face it. When they come back in January, they face the toughest of the tough. You know, and then we go right into the strong uh, matches that we can in, in D2. So NYIT, huge team, number one in our region. I think it's a great test. We're going to play the number one team. And then we go off and play the number one team in the country, the number three team in the country. Um, you know, it, it's, it's such a strong start to our schedule that I think that when we do get back, we will be prepared. We will know where all our holes are, what we needed to patch up in doubles, um, some of the patterns we needed in singles. They're going to be set. We will know what we need to do going into the NE10. So I like playing that schedule. Um, you know, it will it will leave a good mark as to where we need to go. I mean, this will totally rise our levels in terms of play on the court, and uh, will be mentally tough, which will make us stronger, and I think it will make us absolute ready for for the conference that comes. So it's good. It's a motivation. It will take off. The most positive points are these great matches and just enjoy them because it's the most important thing to do. The young team that we had last year, I want to see the maturity in each match going forward this year. Um, the nice thing about this team is it's the same team I have coming back one more year the following year. So we've set higher goals for this year um, and if everybody stays healthy and really has a focus on each and every match, then we will be able to reach our new set goal and then we'll uh, re-establish even stronger goals for the following year. So I do look forward to going a little bit further than we did last year. I'm looking forward to Hawaii right now, to be honest. Uh, I think it's going to be an amazing trip and to play the Hawaii Pacific, which was number one in the country, is going to be interesting. But I definitely am looking forward to see how this team, how we're so together now, how we come together and, and make the NE10. Hopefully the playoffs and hopefully get another championship.